Good afternoon. And it's a very, very, very hot afternoon here in London. And this afternoon, I do have Harley Moon Kemp with me. Harley Moon, how are you? Hello. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really, really, really good. Lovely, lovely. And it's fine. Lovely to finally meet you. Um, it's It feels like it's been a long time coming. You've catapulted out of nowhere in a big explosion. Um, and now everybody has your name on their lips and wants to know all about you. So that's what we're here to do today is to find out a little bit about you. Um, uh, just crazy, crazy times for you, right? Lockdown has, has actually been incredibly kind in some ways. Um, how, how did this all start, Harley Moon? I, I know that you've grown up with a musical influence all around, but but where did this start for you? Yeah, so lockdown was it for me, really. It was the strangest thing because, um, I mean, I was, I've was i always been writing music since, you know, I was a kid. Like you said, I grew up in a super musical household where you're just writing your feelings on the piano or on the guitar anyway. And um, But I, I only ever decided to keep it for myself, really, or write songs for other people. And um, then I have... I set up a company as a photographer and filmmaker. And so I was doing that, but obviously during lockdown, it got completely shut. Mm -hmm. And um, then I had a lot of time on my hands and just started revisiting songs that I'd written that hadn't been cut by someone or songs that I just loved that had been in my catalog for a while. And one of them I actually posted on Instagram and uh, I mean, I was just trying to keep myself sane, thinking I'll just play these songs. I never wanted to push myself to, I was always a bit scared to put my own songs out. And um, yeah, and I got a massive response. Everyone saying, where can I buy this song? Where can I buy this song? So I thought, oh, God, I really need to put this song out. And it was a space. And um, so recorded space remotely and um, put it out and then it ended up going to number one on the iTunes country chart that, that same day it got released and I literally just burst into tears and then that was that was kind of it really it was real like it was just a song that I loved that I'd had in my in my bank for a little while and had been too scared to play to anyone so uh, it, it worked out really well. It certainly did and and the thing is you know it's it was last year. So you've been writing songs for some time. You are a pro pro prolific songwriter and you have been doing it for a long time. I know that. But but where were you? You were happy to be in the background. Like you say, you, 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 you had a fear of perhaps of putting out your own music. Why is that? I think I just was always scared of like if your parents are successful musicians, especially mm. being younger, I think I just did it. I didn't want to be kind of judged on their success. I think I was really afraid of that. I didn't want to, I remember going to a record label when I was like 18 to play some songs I'd written and they were like, just like, oh, you're so-and-so's kid. All right, we'll give it a listen. I know they didn't really listen to it. And I felt a bit kind of scared of that, like kind of a name attachment to it. And I didn't really have the ego or the self-confidence to not worry about that kind of stuff. And um, so, it really put me off and I thought, you know what, I want to do a career that's completely my own and I ended up going down this photography route and keeping music just something that I was doing um, in the background for other people. And to be honest, the writing process is my favourite bit. I love the madness of where your imagination can go and just writing and writing and writing is, uh, is really the bit that I love. That's really interesting because obviously there is a, a complete process um, to writing a song and, and you know, you, you love that. That's the joy that you get from it. So how do you feel now going out there? I mean, now you do have the opportunity to and you have been. How do you feel now going out there and performing your songs? Because it's so intimate and it's so personal. Those are your songs. They're your babies. They've come from your stories, your experiences. And you're sharing them with everybody, not only putting them out there for people to buy and to listen to, but then you're going to sing them live. Makes all the difference. I'm so nervous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Absolutely terrified, no. Um, you know what, it was, I think it's one of those things, you know, when um, you try and make something happen, I haven't tried to make something happen. That's what's felt good about this whole process. I've really just like gone with songs that I love, songs that I've really enjoyed. Like you said, songs that have happened out of personal experience that mean something to me and, 
I never thought to myself, oh, I hope they do well, these songs. I just wanted to put them out because I enjoyed the process. And I think now being at this stage, like it feels very organic that we're just going to go out and we're going to have fun. I'm not like putting any pressure on myself whatsoever. But I think sometimes when you're in that headspace and you're just doing something you love and you're having fun with it, that becomes the magnet anyway that brings it in. I couldn't agree more. That's exactly the way to put it. You're quite right. Um, and so interestingly enough, as you say, you have come from a musical background. Um I really want to know why country because you you know you we, we've got we're same sort of age and we've grown up in the same sort of circles and the same areas actually because you are in North London and those sort of areas which is where I grew up so we, you know we've we've had you know we we were around pop we were around R and B garage you know rap why country can't have a name like Harlem Moon and not do country girl in the green <laughs> <more>. <laughs> you're right you're no right. I'm kidding um. You know what it was? I actually, maybe about six years ago, I think, I always wrote on the piano and that was quite a different style and it was always um, any songs I'd written for other people, like even if it was DJs, I'd always just put it on the piano because you could kind of go anywhere with it. And then on the back of a breakup, it was about six years ago, I really needed a new hobby. So I started learning the guitar and when I was writing on the guitar, I just wrote in a completely different way that mm. felt really, really organic and natural to me. I wasn't trying to write a pop song. I just was trying to tell my stories. And um, I was writing like that for a few years. And I actually took it to a publisher and said, look, I've got this kind of different you know, style of songs that I, what do you think? Like they're not the pop songs that I'd usually write, but what do you think? And he was like, I've got a writing camp in Nashville next week. You need to go there. Uh, and I was like, oh, okay. Literally turned up on my back with my guitar and like a super tassel jacket and cowboy boots. I was so, I was <laughs> so, so, I was so overdressed. It was embarrassing. No. I thought I, thought I was going to step off the plane. Everyone was going to start show dancing with ponies. Or like, I don't know. <laughs> Line I just, dancing in the airport. I just, yeah. I, I thought it was going to be like that. And um, yeah. anyway, a week in, I just fell in love with it. I really understood all the style of, uh, of how people were writing. Every session I was doing there, I thought, this is how I write songs. It's not about like the poppy hook that I'm trying to find because that puts the pressure on you. It's like, what's your truth and what's that gut in stomach feeling that you're trying to tell people? And then you can zoom in to all the beautiful details of those songs. like you know, the what shoes or what the jacket smelt like or what the atmosphere was like in the room. And I think country music is so magic for being able to tell those stories with such fun details. You're absolutely right. It is in the storytelling, exactly like you say. And your songs are stories. They certainly are. Um, you know, so you, you, you burst into the scene with space, um, which which is a story it's a story about how i i feel differently when you're with me when you're in my space that that's you know that I, it takes me to a, a different place um and and i think all the songs that you've told i mean we've been able to relate to them which is why they've had so much success um and and you sing them beautifully you really do so so what made you um what made you choose to stop giving your i mean are you still giving your songs to other artists or you, you're still doing that or how do you now choose and go that's mine honestly i could write a, a song every few hours about anything wow. okay. <laughs> i've got so many songs um on my voice notes or anything that i don't know who it's for um, um. but sometimes i think you know when something feels soft and special to me then i think oh maybe i'll keep this one but then um. A lot of the time, if I, I don't know if I've had a bad day and I get in the car and I just start singing really loud and put the voice note on and then I'm like, oh, actually, this would be really good for a boy singing it in a rock way or, you know, that. so then I kind of, yeah. I don't feel like I have to hold on to the songs. I just have to make them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I understand that. Now, now you, you do um, split your time between different places. Is that right? You're you're in LA as well, aren't you? And um, I know that you 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 do go over to Nashville. 
How are you finding the traveling? Are you finding that that's a great place for you to get influence? Or, or traveling gives you the influences for your songs too? And I mean, <laughs> I think Nashville is definitely, uh, like, honestly, I felt when I, when I got there for the first time, I just thought I'd join the circus and I just didn't want to leave. I just thought <laughs> this is my people and I understand what yeah. everyone is doing here. And the talent level is so high that you can't not want to go home feeling inspired. I remember leaving sessions and thinking, oh man, I was not good enough. And I want to go home and write another song just to prove to myself that I can write a better song. <laughs> like I was, I, I, I feel like so overly inspired when I'm in Nashville. And I mean, it's a real shame I haven't, you know, no one's really been able to travel at the moment, um, but it, it will come back. It will, and there's going to be lots waiting for you over there, I'm sure. Do you have, what do you have planned? I mean, you've released four singles. I'm sure um, there's going to be an EP on the way, I hope, or yeah, so, new music. Yeah, there's a few new songs on the go, um, and one of them is a duet, actually, which I'm really excited Ooh. about. And, um, yeah, a, a couple of things, <laughs> a couple of things um, in the pipeline. I've kind of... Um, I've kind of just been going when I feel it's right. I, it's a funny one. Again, I, ha I haven't tried to put too much pressure on myself. I know what the next song is that I want to work out, but I've been trying to time it as to when this duet's going to come out. Um, and I've got quite a good um, Badass Bitch Girl song coming next. Ooh, <laughs> it's going to be really, really good fun. So I'm actually going to perform... Mm -hmm. um, on the 17th next weekend um i don't know when this is coming out but i know i was gonna say you're gonna be at isla white, the isla white. oh my god so i'll be playing huge artist which is wonderful you're welcome yeah i'll well be placed. playing the new songs mm. there for sure yeah. um with the full band and it's gonna get pretty rough and i'm well excited what an experience that will be for being quiet for so long for like i say you know really coming into your own during during the pandemic which, which has been you know like i say a frustrating time for most but for you it certainly catapulted you into a, a whole new level um and your music is everywhere right now so you know you, you certainly had your impact um are you do you have a, a tour perhaps in mind or something else as well there's possibly something in the pipeline for October, um, um, but TBC on that for the moment. Of course, of course. And so uh, do you find, because, uh, you know, I'm going to put it out there and say it as it is, you know, country has a stigma. Um, how are you finding, you know, all our generation taking it? Because some people have said to me, oh, country, and, and they love it, really. I don't care. So <laughs> we, we break them down eventually. So how have you found that? Did you find a stigma in, in, in putting it into a genre? Um. No, to be honest, I Good. don't really notice stuff like that. I've always been a bit odd one of the bunch, so mm -hmm. I've never, uh, <laughs> stuff like that hasn't really worried me if other people don't think it's like cool or in a, you know, the right genre, it doesn't bother me. I'm just doing it and having fun. Well, you know? it's so cool now, but that, that, that's <laughs> the thing, because you do you have your, your your unique style. You are very much your own person. Um, you know, you, you, you've you certainly traveled and, and, and made your own way. Um, Apart from the music, what is it that that sort of you love to do? What what inspires you? I mean, obviously, you know, inspires you. What do you what do you find fun? What do you like to do? Oh, I just love making anything that was or didn't exist before is my favourite thing oh. to to do. <laughs> if it's a, you know you've invented a song or you've done, I mean, I still work in um, making fa uh, films and adverts for brands where you come up with crazy ideas and sell them those ideas so I like anything where you're really in the base of creation um so I think you can just be inspired by anything however I have got to the point where not many of my friends want to have dinner with me if they're having a bad time <laughs> because <laughs> they start telling me their story and I'm like write it down write it down write it. Um, and what did wow. he say back and what were you wearing that's yeah, really like, interesting. So you're writing stories about your friends too. Right? Oh, writing yeah, songs, anything. Songs yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So 
So yeah, they feel a bit exposed. But that, but you know, that's that's what it's about. We learn from them, don't we? We learn from them. We learn alongside them, and exactly. so you know, that's the creative way to to make it into a good memory and a good experience. Exactly. Um. So so right. So you have a. So you are going to be performing live. We are going to be seeing you up and coming. There's no new music to come as well. Um. Really, really exciting times for you. Um. Are you going to be traveling? Are you going to be going back out to the States? Are you going to ride oh, out there as well? I, I am definitely, definitely planning to go back to Nashville. I've been, it's been one of those ones where it's been so hard to make plans at the moment because it still feels a bit unpredictable. But mm. I think now that hopefully we're in a really good place, um, I definitely want up. to be back, in, back there over in the fall. Definitely to, coming um, up. And who do you listen on. to? Who do you listen to, Hallie Moon? Who's on your um, playlist? Who is on my playlist? Or mm. like the usual suspects, like Marin Morris, because everything she does, I just am annoyed that I didn't write. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but I listen to also a lot of um, a lot of kind of seventies soul music. Mm. I think has got such lovely old melodies. Um, but then, you know. Chris Stapleton is just all the classics, you know, I'm playing on my in the car. My, I think I've played Chris Stapleton Traveller album in the car maybe about 555 times because oh, it man. just seems to go to that on my iPod shuffle as the first song. So every drive is just Chris Stapleton. Totally agree with you. I went to a festival <laughs> last week and it was he was on for three hours and I didn't get bored. I didn't get bored. Nice. And I just listen to them again. But that's that's the joy of, of songwriting. And I think that's that's certainly like that's what you inspire to, to do. And that's what you're putting out there and showing us that the UK certainly does have a whole different caliber of songwriters and and country artists coming coming up to steal to steal the thunder, I think, you know. It's it's a it's a it's a I've been listening to a thing. lot of um some of Lucy Silva's new stuff over Gosh, in Nashville. She's doing brilliant. Yeah, I really love, I really loving, enjoying watching her on Instagram as well. Yeah, she's been, and she's been around for a long time. You see, there, there, there is, there is a place. There's certainly a place for UK um, country, um, and she's out there. Obviously, she's married to John Osborne, and you know, she's she's working with the best. So amazing amazing but certainly possible the uk we can do it we have got it here we have got the caliber and we have got the the talent yes girl absolutely and you're showing everybody hallelujah so. <laughs> i'm into that i'm into that it's been an absolute joy to talk to you darling thank you so much lovely lovely to meet you and we can't wait to hear what you've got coming next so thank you for enjoy your me. festival have a great time <laughs> thank you <laughs> see you soon it's just here on countryradio.uk Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and know that there will be plenty more music videos, live exclusives and performances from country music artists across the UK and beyond.